Hello and welcome to What The Math. Today we'll be talking about temperature and temperature conversion, specifically Celsius to Fahrenheit and Fahrenheit to Celsius. Now there are actually two ways of converting uh, these degrees and one is formal, that's the one that you'll be using on the test a lot, and then informal, that's the one you'll be using in real life. So let's look at both starting with the informal way of converting temperature. Now, even though the majority of the world actually adopted the metric system already and uses Celsius, there are still three countries in the world that do use Fahrenheit, and that's USA, uh, Belize, and Jamaica. So if you ever go to those countries, you have to be able to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Or if you are from Jamaica, Belize, or US, and you go overseas, you have to be able to convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius. And the fastest way of doing this is as follows. Now, this is the, not the most accurate way, but it does work. So if you are from the US, and you want to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius, basically all you have to do is multiply whatever number you're looking at by 2 and then add 30. So times 2 plus 30. For example, if it says 20 degrees Celsius, times 2, that's 40 degrees plus 30, that's plus 30, that's 70. So that's approximately 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Now it's not exactly accurate, but it's the easiest way of remembering how to do the, the math. If, however, you're from another country and you come to US and you don't understand what temperature means, what you have to do is first you have to take away 30 and then you have to divide by 2. In other words, if you're looking at, let's just say, 80 degrees Fahrenheit and you have no idea what that means, take away 30, that's 50 degrees Fahrenheit, and divide by 2, that is 25 degrees Celsius. So 80 degrees Fahrenheit is approximately 25 degrees Celsius. Not exactly that, but approximately that. In other words, just to summarize, if you're from the US, you multiply by 2 and then you add 30. If you're from everywhere else except for Belize and Jamaica, then you find the difference. So you uh, take away 30 and then you divide by 2. Now there's actually another way to remember the conversion and that's by remembering some important anchor points. For example, 0 degrees Celsius is actually the same as 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And 10 degrees Celsius is the same as 50 degrees Fahrenheit. If you remember these two anchor points, you can actually figure out what the temperature is, and very accurately as well. If you look closely, you realize that for every 10 degrees Celsius, there's approximately 18 degrees Fahrenheit increase. So in other words, if we're looking at a temperature of, let's just say, 20 degrees Celsius, that will be 68 Fahrenheit. Or if we're looking at minus 10 degrees Celsius, that will be, let's do some math here, 14 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's another way of remembering how to convert units. Now let's talk about formal conversion, and that's the one that you'll be using on your test as well. So you need to remember two little, little formulas, and one is for Fahrenheit, one is for Celsius. So if you want to convert Celsius into Fahrenheit, all you have to do is multiply Celsius degrees by 9 fifth, and then you have to add 32, so 9 fifth C plus 32. And let's actually try to plot these on our calculator. Before I start, I'm going to go into my window setting and change my settings to, let's just say, minus 50 for X, and that's going to be my Celsius for now, uh, from minus 50 to 50, and then my Fahrenheit is going to be from minus 100 to 100. Now let's go into the first function and let's plot this first one, which is 9 divided by 5x, where x is Celsius, plus 32, we enter and graph it. And that's our line that represents the temperature conversion from Celsius to Fahrenheit. You can also go into your table, which is second graph, and find the values for uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit. So for example, 40 Celsius is 104 Fahrenheit or 30 Celsius is approximately 86 Fahrenheit. Now let's do the opposite, let's do Fahrenheit to Celsius. Let's enter 5 divided by 9, and brackets x minus 32, close brackets. And plot that as well, and that's our graph for conversion of Fahrenheit to Celsius. As you can see, they actually cross here, and if you know Celsius Fahrenheit conversion, that's minus 40. At minus 40, they equal exactly the same. Um, and, and after this, they kind of spread. So let's look at the graph for, um, for this function. Let's go into our table. 
and you can see there's now two graphs or two tables here uh, so for X for basically for Fahrenheit at 60 or 59 it gives us value of 15 that means it's 15 Celsius at, at 59 Fahrenheit then at at 86 Fahrenheit we find out that it's actually 30 Celsius and that's how you can use your calculator to find or convert units from Fahrenheit to Celsius and from Celsius to Fahrenheit and that is how you can use your calculator or your graphing calculator to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit and Fahrenheit to Celsius. And that's really it. That It's that simple. Just rem try to remember these two formulas. You'll probably need them in the future as well. And if you don't remember them, try to remember the informal one, which is basically multiply by 2 plus 30 or minus 30 divided by 2. And that's it. And this has been What the Math with unit conversion from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Thank you for watching and good luck. Bye-bye.